Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Big sister advice of the day is treat that man according to his consistency and according to his effort. And then start rewarding inconsistency with unavailability. Deciding who we are is deciding who we're never going to be again. What we did back in the day for certain people, we are not doing anymore. Why not? What makes me so special? See, it goes both ways. What you used to do for certain people back in the days is why you're not getting consistency from any man today. I went on the best first date that I've been on in years, and there's not going to be a second. The date was great. We really clicked. We want the same things. We have a very similar sense of humor. I told him I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. He didn't even blink an eye at that. He thinks that's great. He is divorced with three kids. When he dropped me off at my place, he asked me what I was doing on Saturday. He, so he asked me out for a second date, but he canceled. And then a few days later, he texted me. He lost his job. It, ha it can happen to anyone. Everyone can get laid off. He said that he really liked me, but without a job, he doesn't have the financial means to date, which is really responsible. I mean, he has three kids, but I'm just so disappointed. It just felt like, finally, I like a guy. I'm clicking with a guy. And then just like, oh, it's over. Just kidding. The question is, do you think he's telling the truth? Or is the whole I just lost my job thing an excuse? I have so many girlfriends here saying that, Annie, you haven't liked a guy in so long. Just tell him it's okay and do like cheap things, like go for walks. And I don't know, that's just not my style. I don't want to date a man who can't take me out at all. I don't know, is that shallow that I only let want to date him if he can actually afford to date date? Yes, and not only that, but if shallow was on the first level, when it comes to you, shallow will have a basement. In a month, maybe two, he's gonna find a new job. And if he's lucky, it's gonna be a better job and he's gonna make more than he used to. But the best part is he's not gonna have you in his life to worry about. I can't stand it when people make birthday posts just for attention. I will not be doing that today. That's good to know, but still, happy birthday. Bumble needs a notification. Like, you know how it says, new here? They need another side note notification that says, new here, again for the 10th time and then you can put in how many times it's been since you re-added it. I think I'm on to something. Also, this is embarrassing that I even thought about this. Let everyone knows that I keep deleting and downloading it again. Oh, well, it's only been 10 times and maybe 18 times the charm. But before you hope, Bumble will add some notification, whatever those may be. Just stop deleting the app. You know you'll be installing it back again tomorrow. Okay, so we're taking application for my wedding, but her wedding day. It's in Hawaii, June 30th. Oh, by the way, her name's Ashley. Anyway, here's why you should be her wedding day. She's way hot and way smart. She's in nursing school. She's like a perfect angel. You can take her home to your mom and show her this picture. Like, come on. She's like a blonde bombshell. She also loves to work out. She's from Southern California. She's a great time. So if you want to be her wedding day, I'll tag her below. Or you can go to the DMs because we have to both prove. Mwah! Doesn't she sound like a complete angel? Or like too good to be true? As always, I'm just curious. What happens with the first probably a hundred men that wanted to take her out on dates so far? Were they all narcissists, for example? Or is she that busy and she doesn't have time to date? Or is she just maybe too good to be true? I just came across a quote that says, Any loss that you experience through speaking your truth isn't actually a loss, it's alignment. I don't even know what you're aligning with, but still no. If there's more to it, it might be a great quote, but if that's it, no. There is no such thing as your truth. It's the truth and that's it. Your truth or my truth, that's just two sides of the story. The truth is exactly what happened and no, truth is not relative. I love when I'm getting to know a guy and I ask them, what is your attachment style? And they're like, I'm a man. That is my attachment style, okay? Or when I ask them, what is your love language? And they're like, love language? I'm a man. And you're like, mm, okay. 
That's only because I don't speak that language. I barely learned some English and now you're forcing me to learn about love language and attachment style. I don't speak cuckoo. I want to speak words that make sense when I look for them in the dictionary. Will AI take your job? No. What do you do for work? These men are patronizing women on the streets to try to scare them into thinking that AI is taking their job. They don't even notice that their job is already being taken. You thought getting a girlfriend was hard enough? We all have audio boyfriends now. Okay, your job is done. Think of the past. Oh no, whatever will I do now? Oh well, I know. Just to get started, I'm gonna place a bet. I'm gonna bet there's nothing on that audio except once at every 15 minutes, some voice will say, yes dear. And I'm gonna try to keep it short, but here's a business idea for whoever wants to listen. Make one of these audio boyfriend, like the one she's talking about, and yes, keep the yes dear once at every 15 minutes, but add a response and make it voice recognition. Whenever she says, isn't this right? The audio will respond with, you the queen. You're gonna sell millions of copies in the first week And if you can sell two plastic hands that will hold her hands when she speaks You're crushing it But let's see whatever she said patronizing girls on the street Let's see how he was patronizing this girl Will AI take your job? Yeah Oh wait Or well, maybe he was patronizing this girl Will AI take your job? No No why not? What do you do for work? Oh, probably not. I've checked some of his content and so far I've seen four videos with this question. Two in which he was asking two girls and these two videos right here. And this wonderful angel right here would have known that if she was checking his content. But why do that when it's not fitting your narrative? <gasps> yes, Robert. What do you want now? More money, a check, a car, my soul? She said this, when all your failed situationships start liking your IG stories again. Well, you said situationships, so I'm gonna assume Robert wants what he always wanted, a quickie. Or in more polite and respectful ways, Netflix and chill. I believe I can fly! I believe I can touch the sky! Why don't they always get high? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's not exactly Superman, but I'm gonna assume he is high on not exactly legal stuff. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.